Good morning, my dear children. Hope you all are fit and fine. Right? Okay. So, let's start our online science class. Girls, in the last class, we have learnt the chapter 2. Plants around us. Right? Today, we are going to learn another interesting chapter from your science book. So, students, are you ready for that? Yes? Okay. Then, please take out your science book and let's start our revision class. Children, today our revision topic is chapter 4, the animal world. So our topic is chapter 4, the animal world. So children, please open at page number 24. Okay? Now girls, we see many animals around us. They are of different shapes and sizes. There are some animals like elephants, giraffes. They are very big. Again, we can see some animals like deers, rabbits. They are small animals. And butterflies, bees, these animals are very, very small. So girls, today we are going to revise the different types of animals here. Alright? Now, look at this picture. Yes, tigers. And this one is the king of the jungle, the lion king, right? And these animals are called wild animals. These animals live in forests. Now, can you tell me what animal is this? Right. This is a cow and these are correct again. They are goats and these animals are called domestic animals and we keep them near our homes or on farms. Girls, do you know domestic animals Give us food and other useful things. Right? Girls, let's talk about our pets. Dog, fish. These animals are called pets. And we love them very much. That is why we keep them inside our homes. Now girls, we will revise about birds. You know that birds live on trees and they build nests lay 
eggs. Most birds can fly. Like eagles, sparrow, etc. But there are some birds like ostrich. They cannot fly. Now, can you tell me what is this? Yes, snake. And this one is? Right. Tortoise. Can you tell me what kind of animals we are going to revise now? Correct. These are reptiles. Their body covered with scales or hard shells. Girls, do you know? Snakes never close their eyes as they do not have eyelids like us. And the very interesting fact about tortoise is the tortoise leaves the longest. Okay. Please remember these facts. Now we are going to revise about insects. This is housefly. An example of insects. We are going to revise some question and answers from this chapter. Alright? So kids, please pay attention. Question number one. What are wild animals? Give to Examples. So, what will be the answer, girls? Yes. Animals which live in forests are called wild animals. So, animals which live in forests are called wild animals. Example, bear, kangaroo, tiger, lion, etc. Now girls, you have to write two examples of wild animals as per your choice. Alright? Now, Question number two. What are domestic animals? Give two examples. So, what are domestic animals? Give two examples. Now, we tame some animals for work or for food. We keep them near our homes or farms. They are called domestic animals. So, we tame some animals for work or for food and we keep them near our homes or farms. They are called domestic animals. Girls, you can see the pictures of cow and goats here. 
these are the examples of domestic animals and these animals gives us food and other useful things all right okay now question number 3 what product do we get from the following what product do we get from the following a sheep now girls can you tell me what do we get from a sheep right you are sheep gives us wool sheep gives us wool now b cow correct cow gives us milk cow gives us milk number c goat So what do we get from goat? Yes. Meat. Goat gives us meat. And the last one, D. Hen. Hen gives us egg and meat. Hen gives us egg and meat understood now question number 4 what are pets name any two pets what are pets name any two pets girls there are some animals whom we loves a lot and we keep them inside our home like parrots cats etc these animals are called pets all right so girls what are pets we keep some animals inside our homes because we love them they are called pets got it so can you name any two pets yes it can be cats dogs parrots fish etc now here you have to write any two example of pets okay now question number 5 what are reptiles name any two reptiles what are reptiles name any two reptiles now look at this picture correct this is a snake can you tell me what is this girls yes this is a tortoise and these animals are example of reptiles now girls can you tell me what are reptiles the answer is 
animals which have scales or hard shells on their body are called reptiles girls if you see this picture then you can easily find out the body of this neck is covered with something that is not very smooth in nature can you see that yes now girls these things are called scales clear now if you consider the picture of this turtle then you can easily find out a hard shell in his body right so this is why we call them reptiles so the animals which have scales or hard shells like this on their body they are called reptiles now you can definitely name any two reptiles right yes it can be snake tortoise or lizard okay clear now question number 6 name the parts of the body of a bird that helps it to hop and walk now girls can you see this picture yes what is this correct it is a bird a beautiful white bird now if you look at this picture carefully then you can easily find out the body part that helps this bird to hop and walk can you guess what is this yes the answer is legs all right so legs helps a bird to hop and walk done now b fly any guess girls i think you are correct wings and feathers now girls can you see this two beautiful wings yes and here the feathers you can see that the body of a bird covered with feathers right and this feathers and wings help them to fly clear now eat so girls can you tell me which parts of the body of a bird helps it to eat yes the answer is beak birds have a beak to eat their food all right clear now girls let us answer in one or two words okay number 1 name two birds that cannot fly name two birds that cannot fly girls we all know that most of the birds 
can fly. But what about this? Emu and penguin. Always remember, these birds cannot fly. Okay, so the answer will be emu, penguin or ostrich. Alright, but here you have to write name of any two birds that cannot fly. Understood? Now, question number two. Name two insects that cannot fly. Name two insects that cannot fly. Now girls, we know all insects have six legs and most have two pairs of wings to fly. But there are some insects like ant, spider, they do not have wings to fly. So the answer will be right. Ant and spider. These insects cannot fly. Okay? Number three, name an animal that lives in forests. Name an animal that lives in forests. I'm sure you all know this answer, right? Yes, elephants. Girls, it can be tiger, lion, giraffe, bear, etc. But here we have to write name of any one animal that lives in forests. Okay? Number four. Name an animal that lives both on land and in water. Name an animal that live both on land and in water. Right. The answer is frog or crocodile, duck, tortoise. So girls, here you have to write name of any one animal as per your choice. Okay? Clear? Now, question number five. What are animals with six legs and a pair of wings called. What are animals with six legs and a pair of wings called? Can you guess? I think you are correct. The answer will be Insects. Okay. Now, question number six. Name one animal that lives on tree. Name one animal that lives on tree. Any guess? So, the answer is bird. Okay? Now, the next question. Question number 
seven. Which is the biggest animal on land? Which is the biggest animal on land? Do you know the answer, girls? Yes. Okay. The biggest animal on the land is African elephant. So the answer is African elephant. All right, girls. This is the time for think and answer. So please try out the following questions on your own. Okay? So let's start with think and answer. Fill in the blanks. Number one. We team some animals for dash or for food. Number two, birds have dash and dash that help them to fly. Number three, fish lives in dash. Fish lives in dash. Next, circle the odd one. Here you have to read the full thing and then you have to circle the odd one. Okay? Number one. Cat, dog, tiger, rabbit. Now girls, what will be the answer here? Yes, the answer will be tiger. Why? Because cat, dog and rabbit are pets. And tiger is a wild animal. So the answer will be tiger here. Okay. Number two. Housefly, octopus, butterfly, mosquito. Number three. Hen, elephant, lion, tiger. Okay. Now, tick the correct option. Children, here you'll get three options. And from that, you have to choose the correct one and tick on it. Okay? So, question number one. All Insects have dash legs. Options are A, 4, B, 5, C, 6. Number 2. Animals which have scales on their body are called dash. Options are A. Birds B. Reptiles C. Insects Number 3 The dash Leaves the longest. 
the options are a tortoise b fly c camel okay now the next question write t for true and f for false statements so here you have to read the sentence carefully okay and then you have to find out whether the sentence is true if it is true then you have to write t and if it is false then you have to write f in the given box clear girls so question number 1 horse helps us to travel number 2 insects are very big animals number 3 kangaroo is a wild animal okay girls so that's all for today hope you have enjoyed the class so girls stay safe stay healthy and keep smiling thank you